I'm Marianne Matter and I'm participating in Booktopia's World Book Day celebration. I'd like to introduce you to one of my favourite books because I'm sure most of us have at least a couple of favourites. However, today I selected Annie Prue's short story collection Close Range because while it contains 11 absolutely classic Prue stories of life in the unforgiving American West, one of these stories changed my life and set me seriously on the path of being an author. Not surprisingly, it's Brokeback Mountain, the tragic tale of two young sheep herders who fall in love in 1963 but who are doomed to lead lonely, unfulfilled lives because of, as Prue describes it, destructive rural homophobia. I love this story. It broke me apart and it put me back together again. It is a way of delving deep into all the sorrow and loss and regret of a person's life. I love to read and I never stick to one genre. So long as the writing is engaging, I enjoy it. If I have any sort of reading ritual it's that anywhere anytime is good enough you'll find me reading a book in the car while I'm waiting for someone you'll find me at 4 a.m with a cup of tea and a book on the couch any snatch time will do although if if I'm engrossed in a book it's really hard to get me out of it I, I have on one occasion said to a friend who was trying to talk to me sorry you just have to wait until I finish this book and then race through the through the um, the last few pages of it. I often have a few books on the go. Uh, I just do not feel comfortable if I don't have a, a, a couple of books spare so I know I've got something to read. Um, I've occasionally, I, I, one thing I never do, I never look at the last page. Occasionally I'll, I'll sort of put my hand over the last paragraph when I reach the last page just in case I catch a glimpse of what's going on. I like to honour the author's intention in having a story unfold. That's, that's how I like to read books. Um, currently I'm reading, working my way through, um, The Mirror and the Light. The last part of Hilary Mantel's extraordinary trilogy about Thomas Cromwell. It's at once a dense, fact-rich book and it's also beautiful, almost meditative, a look into one man's mind. Mantel's style thrills me. It feels intimate. It makes me want to change history. It's never predictable even though the events are well known. So, that's my relationship with other people's books. Uh, I do have my own book, uh, a short story collection called Lifebound, which was published by Midnight Sun Publishing in 2020. Uh, the stories are an eclectic mix because I write the way I read style, time period, genre, tone. It doesn't worry me so long as I have a good story to tell. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye.